Columbia equals finance, right? Well, that's kind of true, but only a third of CBS students actually go into finance after graduation. CBS is so much more than finance. Let's talk about a few other strengths. First up, CBS is increasingly a hub for family business. CBS has its distinct J-Term program, which allows students to have the full academic MBA experience, but caters to those who know exactly where they're going, eliminating the summer internship. Students start in January, and that fall term that they missed is taught in the summer. Then they join the second year class. So those going to family businesses often don't need that summer internship to make a transition. Enter the ever-efficient J-Term. There's more than structure. In 2016, CBS launched the Global Family Enterprise Program, specifically for applicants who intended to join or rejoin family businesses after graduation. While the five MBA courses on its roster may not seem like much compared to the 100 finance courses, CBS offers five more classes than most programs. The hallmark is family business management, where students learn how to deal with corporate governance and succession planning. Other critical classes include family enterprise and wealth and managing conflict in family businesses. CBS also boasts a robust family business club, a student-run organization comprised of more than 250 members who represent diverse businesses from all over the world. The group hosts student events throughout the year, including the popular Family Business Matters series, Family Business Conference, and students are also invited to join the Family Enterprise Alumni Circle after graduation. While CBS touts its New York advantage, most generally understand that for that to be an advantage, it kind of pertains to, you guessed it, finance jobs. But CBS does not just look inward into New York City, into the financial district. It looks outward via the Chasen Institute, its interdisciplinary hub for global business. You can go on or even plan your own week-long Chasen Global Study Tour, getting as niche as studying retail luxury goods in Europe, Paris and Milan, or studying real estate in India, where you can network with business leaders, students, and corporate sponsors. Or you can take the four-credit version of the Chasen Global Study Tour, the Chasen Global Immersion Program, where you study an economy and culture for a semester and then visit with classmates. The UAE, South Africa, the Philippines, what calls to you? Maybe a hybrid of those two. How about a week-long, four-credit, block-week class abroad, like a Startup Nation course in Israel? Does all of this travel sound expensive to you? The Chazen Institute offers travel bursaries. And want to study a new language or improve your existing knowledge? How about an eight-week Chazen language program? Learn Arabic, Portuguese, Italian, Mandarin, or half a dozen other global languages. Honestly, there's so much more. Exchange programs, fellowships, even a photo contest. If you're determined to have a global experience, CBS and Chazen should be explored. One more area of strength. CBS has a robust entrepreneurship program via the Eugene M. Lang Center, offering resources to those seeking to launch, invest, or scale. Those launching, rather than investing or scaling, can meet with experienced entrepreneurs to get feedback and advice on their startup idea via Lang Coaches, and students can join the summer startup track to gain access to advisors, workshops, peer support, and even a $10,000 grant opportunity. Students can participate in the Columbia Build Lab and gain access to interdisciplinary resources to build their MVP, their minimum viable product. They can join Greenhouse Masterclass, an on-campus accelerator where they can join second-year students who are preparing their nascent businesses for fundraising. And it goes on and on. And this is just the launch portion. When you join the invest side, you can become a venture fellow and work alongside a VC for a year to develop an investment thesis. Or you can become a summer VC fellow with a small VC and potentially receive an income supplement from the school. And those coaching resources are available to you as an investor as well. What about scale? CBS is there for graduating students or alumni as they build their ventures. Students can get seed funding of $25,000 to $100,000 via the Lang Fund or co-working space via the Columbia Startup Lab in Soho. Not ready as a student? There's an alumni venture accelerator and those Lang coaching hours are still available to you. The CBS entrepreneurial bench is so deep, just like its family business and international business benches. Think beyond finance at CBS and you'll find a world of opportunities, both literally and figuratively. Sound like a good fit for you? Check out the next video on how to get into CBS.